And to talk to us more about scooters, we have with us Jan Hendrik Surgeons, who is the founder of Comunita Scooter Electris, or KSE Indonesia. Hello. Hi, Hello. Thanks, thanks so much for having me. Thank you for coming. <laughs> All right, now, just now we understand a bit about scooters. Perhaps you can explain to us a, lo a little bit more about, about what it is. Yes, of course. So scooters mm -hmm. is actually an Indonesian term. It stands for scooter electris, which means in English electric scooter or e-scooter. What is special about the term scooters is that people in Indonesia invented this term this year. It's a brand new term, actually. Mm -hmm. And it really just stands for electric kick scooters. So people usually don't confuse it, um, don't get confused mm -hmm. if people hear, hear the term scooters with electric bicycles or electric motorbikes. So it's pretty clear that people are talking about electric kick scooters if they hear the term scooters. Mm. Now, um, you're, you're, you're trying to promote scooters in order mm. to promote a more greener, Go green, a yeah. greener, f uh, more uh, environmentally friendly mm. way to commute on a daily basis. True. How, how can scooters help with that? Yeah. Well, the first glance, the answer is actually quite obvious because scooters are propelled 100% with electricity. That means they're fumeless, they're noiseless. So if you have such a vehicle on the road mm -hmm. next to your motorbike, you feel certainly more comfortable. Also the rider him or herself feels more comfortable because mm -hmm. of that. Um, additionally, scooters are usually very small, much smaller than bicycles or definitely smaller than motorbikes. So mm -hmm. if more people are using scooters, then you have less traffic jam, you have uh, less issues with a limited parking place. Um, nevertheless, when it comes to CO2 reduction, we have to take a bigger view as well. Mm -hmm. Because um, all kind of electric vehicles still need something to run, which is electricity. Yeah. Yes. And the question is, where is this electricity coming from? Mm -hmm. So in Indonesia, it's, as far as I know, about 90% still from non-renewable energy sources. Mm -hmm. So theoretically, um, only 10% of the energy used by scooters in Indonesia right now is really green and contributing to the reduction to CO2. But that's at least something. Mm -hmm. And uh, I read on the website of the Ministry of Energy here in Indonesia mm -hmm. that they have the ambitious goal of increasing the creation of renewable energy or the use of it to 23% until 2025. Mm -hmm. right. And um, if until that time there are significantly more scooters users or also users of other electric vehicles, mm -hmm. right. then we will have a big impact um, on a well, significant impact on the reduction of CO2. Now right. what about KSE though, mm. as a community? Yes. Yeah, can you explain to us a bit, a bit about that? Yeah, so KSE stands for Comunitas Scooter Electric Indonesia. Mm. So basically the electric e-scooter community of Indonesia. It was, um, and the foundation was in May this year. And the inspiration came actually from a similar community from Singapore where scooters are already very popular. Mm -hmm. We have about 20,000 scooters users there already. Mm -hmm. And, um, the main goal, as you guys already mentioned, mm -hmm. of KS Indonesia is to promote scooters mm -hmm. on a non-profit basis. So it's basically a neutral discussion platform. And it's open for everybody who is somehow involved in, in scooters. So right. users, sellers, in the future, also local uh, governments or the national government when it comes to implementing new regulations. Okay. Now, uh, Henry, uh, for, for, for a city like Jakarta, which is very hectic, there's a lot of cars, buses, I mean, do, do you see it viable that uh, electric scooters that you can get around the city with, you know, scooters that are very, you know, quite frail, maybe? <laughs> That's a very good yeah, question, yeah. Right. And Jakarta is a special case, indeed. Um, there are different kinds of scooters, right? There are very small ones, there are bigger ones, there are those with good suspension and so on. So if you look at the medium-sized ones or bigger ones, they're definitely suitable for Jakarta as well, because they... Um, can even go uh, through wet roads because they are usually water resistant. They can go through holes as long as they are not extremely big or deep, of course. Mm -hmm. um, and well, safety is also an important issue when it yeah. comes to cities like Jakarta, right? So the advantage of scooters is that you're usually standing on them while you're riding them. In this way, you have a much better overview over the traffic. You can look over the cars, usually, over the motorbikes, and you'll see any dangerous situations earlier than other participants of the, of the, uh, inside the traffic or on the roads. Okay. Now, uh, <coughs> how about in other cities? Um, mm -hmm. you, you were mentioning that a scooter is already booming in Singapore. Yes. Uh, is, is the government, uh, you know, is it completely legal to use it in any roads, mm -hmm. or is there any regulations in Singapore? What's, what's it like there, using scooters? Um, there, as I said, there's also a similar community like case in Indonesia, yeah. and they started to promote scooters about four years ago, if I'm not wrong. And since that time, the whole scooters industry uh, boomed, um, but it was only tolerated by the government or by the police at that time. 
So they just thought like, well, it's not harmful, it's a nice thing. So they didn't enforce the law against scooters users and tolerated them everywhere on the pedestrian walks, bicycle lanes and streets. Mm. But now since there are already so many scooters users, the government had to react. So um, after some market research, they drafted a new law, which will be prob probably implemented by the end of this year or by the beginning of next year. Mm -hmm. And this law requires all scooters users to only use them on pedestrian walks or on bicycle lanes with a maximum speed on, on bicycle lanes to up to 25 km per hour. Right. What about <laughs> Indonesia now? How is the government supporting scooters here in Indonesia? Unfortunately, Honestly, <laughs> the government is not really interested in this topic yet. Yeah. So it's also part of our work to motivate them to do mm -hmm. something about it and uh, to implement positive regulations. Mm -hmm. um, so far, they are at least just tolerating basically scooties. So, but um, they're aware they're scooties. They, they are aware that they are scooties mm -hmm. and they compare with electric bicycles, okay. with hoverboards and so on. And they don't treat scooties like petrol vehicles like motorbikes for example so yeah. the police is not in enforcing as far as we experienced any registration laws or driving license laws or even helmet laws towards scooters users which is uh, overall positive i guess it's a positive sign okay. but uh, the uh, legal environment is still very unclear in indonesia also when it comes to the import of scooters like customs authorities often don't know how to categorize them, okay. which is uh, difficult for the dealers here. Mm -hmm. Right, but um, are, 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 there, are, are they already being sold here in Jakarta, scooties? Yes. Or in Indonesia, sorry. Yes. Um, unfortunately, there are no uh, specialized scooties stores yet, as far okay. as we know. But there are a few stores which are already selling um, different kind of scooties, but together with other stuff like um, petrol, scooters, mm -hmm. uh, hoverboards, and so on. Mm -hmm. um, besides that, People can order scooters online through big online platforms like Alibaba or Lazada. Yeah. There the problem is that you don't have a professional after sales service. Uh -huh. And um, there's a new company coming up which is called Scooters Corporation, actually from Singapore. And they are specialized in scooters. And they actually re just recently started to sell online and they want to open a shop on Bali next year. That's great. Well, actually we have the scooters yes. in the studio yes. right now. So maybe you can give us a little yeah. Demonstration? Or insights about it. Yeah. Yeah. Show us the features a little bit. All right. Yeah. Okay. Of course. <laughs> okay, so this model is called Anoa Scooties, like the animal on Sulawesi's mm -hmm. small buffalo. Mm -hmm. um, as most scooties, it has its motor around the back wheel. Mm -hmm. And this is a 500 watts motor, which is already quite strong. And it uses a lithium battery, which has 48 volts and 18.2 ampere hours, which is also okay. very strong. Right. So it lasts theoretically until 70 kilometers before you have to recharge it. Mm -hmm. And you can just recharge this scooter as most other scooters with a normal 220 volts wall socket. So right. like at night, for example, when you came ho back from, from work. Mm -hmm. um, and there's, there's also brakes with the lights at the end of it? Yes, it has two brakes, a drum brake at the end, braking lights, which makes mm -hmm. it safer. Okay. And That's this great. brakes in front, uh -huh. also a front light, a quite strong one. You yeah. have a horn. Ah, <laughs> oh, great. Yeah. yeah. That's very Safety. useful in your car. <laughs> exactly, <laughs> exactly. And this uh -huh. one also comes with an accessory for phone holders. So you can use GPS mm -hmm. uh -huh. or combine it with uh, Bluetooth and you can even phone while you're riding it or listen to music. Right. And this one is also an off-road model. So it has 10 inches pneumatic tires. Okay. And it has um, oil suspension over here, which is actually patent patented. Okay. That's great. And... Um, yeah, you see, it's very stable. Wow. It can carry right. up to 200 kilograms, so even heavy persons, tall persons can safely ride this kind of scooters. Okay. Um, and yeah, you can also already buy this in Indonesia online. Oh, right. All right, so, mm. in, yeah. in, so in the near future, we can see a lot of people here commuting back With that. and forth. Yes, our community is very convinced by that. Okay, All right. well, Henry, thank, thank you, so, you much. so much. It was very delightful. And thank you very much, we're, too. We're, we're hoping for scooters to come into Indonesia yes. to solve thank the you. traffic problem. <laughs> thank you so much, Henry. <laughs>